kuna adithi in the book of 1st kings chapter 3 begini verse 16 wafalme wa kwanza tatu mstari wa 16 hadi mstari wa 20 hata 21 now two prostitutes came to the king and stood before him. One of them said, My lord, this woman and I live in the same house. I had a baby while she was there with me. The third day after my child was born, this woman also had a baby. We were alone. There was no one in the house but the two of us. There was no one in the house but the two of us. Verse 19. During the night, this woman's son died because she lay on him. So she she got up in the middle of the night and took my son from my side while I, your servant, was asleep. She put him by her breast and put her dead son by my breast. The next morning, I got up to nurse my son and he was dead. But when I looked at him closely in the morning light, I saw that it wasn't the son I had born. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hawa ni wanawake wawili. Mabwana zao awachurikani kwa sababu ni makaaba. Verse 16 inasema Two prostitutes. Lakini inaonekana kama walishika mimba kwa wakati mmoja. Ila tarehe ya kuchifungua ndiyo ilitofautiana kwa siku tatu. Ninahambia taifa tu kwa masiku ita, siku ya tatu ni ya kishetani. Ndiyo mahana yesu alifufuka baada ya siku ya tatu. To disapprove the devil. Shetani anapenda sana siku ya tatu. Na usipo junga siku ya tatu. Kuna mtoto atazaliwa na atakufa. Na kama utakua umerara, utabadilishiwa. Wanawake ni malaya. Wamechifungua watoto. Na itakuwa vigumu haba kutofautisha mtoto wako noyo mwingine. Mungu angetaka kuwasaidia. Angewafanya mumoja azaya kijana muflana na mwingine azaya msichana. Lakini sasa ajabu wote waliza wafurana. Awa makaba wawiri. Kaba mmoja hapa. Ukisoma yu story utakuja kurealize. Kaba mmoja ni msema ukwe. Hallelujah. But I'm talking about two prostitutes who live in the same house. I can't understand why they lived in the same house. Maybe their economy was difficult. Sindio. They lived in the same house. Nirudi kansani ni seme hivi. Kubokea muuchiza sio kitu kikubwa kama kulinda muuchiza. Mutoto umemzaha amekuwa na wewe siku tatu. A 
hata ukiangalia vizuri mtoto ambaye amesaliwa amekaa siku tatu anaweza kuwa tofauti kwa kuangalia kwa macho tu na ule mtoto amezaliwa kwa siku moja Huyu mtoto aliyezaliwa baadaye ndiye alikufa Mtoto aliyezaliwa wa kwanza alikuwa hai lakini mtoto aliyezaliwa baadaye akakufa. Akakufa. Na huyu na shida ya huyu mtoto kufa ni mwenye mtoto alimralia. A careless mother. Aliralia mtoto wake akakufa. Nasipo kuelezea ni rais wewe mwenyewe kuralia mtoto wako. If I don't tell you something this hour. Utaralia mtoto wako na atakufa. Do you know most people lose their blessings because they destroy their own blessings? 